makes us whole. Yes, Lord. God, today I pray that every one of us will pray in the sanctuary. Yes. Have faith that every mention made here today yes. shall be healed. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For all that you've done. Yes. Thank you Thank for what you're doing right now. Right now. And Lord, because of our faith, yes. we thank you thank for you. what you're going to do in the future. Yes. Yes. God, we love you. Yes. We glorify you. Yes. And we magnify your holy name. Yes. Believing these things to be so. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. The announcements are as follows. Next Sunday is our Families and Friends Day. All right? So, I hope everyone has invited out a bunch of people. We want to pack the church that Sunday. Amen. As I stated before, there is a competition to see who can bring the most people. So, let's see who wins. On September 22nd, at 11 o'clock, we will be having our Women's Day service. October 13th, we will be heading to St. Peter's Aid Church in Savannah, Georgia for their church anniversary. Their service starts at 10 o'clock. On October the 26th, the Saturday, um, we will be hosting a fall festival. There will be carnival games, door prizes, and fun for everyone. On Sunday, October the 27th, we will be having a church anniversary theme. It is Battle of the Quiet. It will be the only service that day. And then on Sunday, November the 17th, we will be having our Harvest Day celebration at 2 o'clock. And Community Youth Choir rehearsal will be this Saturday from 5 o'clock to 6.30. All are welcome to come out and join us if you would like to do so. Remember, there is nothing you can do to make God stop loving you. He loves you more than you'll ever know. John 3 and 16, 3 says, thank you. Amen. Brother Church, amen. Amen. It is good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Can we all agree on that? Amen. 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 Uh, are there any other announcements, anything anyone would like to say? Nothing. We're so glad. Uh, yes, sir. This is the CJ Amen. Amen. Congratulations to CJ. Um, listen, for those of you who don't know, I see y'all put you on the spot. Is that okay? All right. For those of you who don't know, for a long time, CJ struggled in school. Amen. Amen. And I don't know what it is, but here in the past year or so, old boy coming out of his shell. And CJ is making monumental steps in the right direction. Amen. And we praise God for him getting better. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you understand the old African adage, it takes a village to raise a child. Amen. If you understand where we're coming from. It took a lot of us to keep staying on CJ to get him in the way that he should go. And when he grow old, you want to depart from it. Amen. Amen. We thank God for this young man. Also, we thank God for Brother Adams, uh, Jay, going off to Georgia State. Amen. Amen. We, we love this young man. Um, he is a dedicated young man to whatever he takes part in. And we thank God for him. Amen. 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 Now, Somebody made me smile heavily today uh, while I was up here uh, doing the death hall. And this young man, I don't know how old he is now, I think he's four. <laughs> we call him Buddy. This young man was reciting the whole decalogue mouth it to his mother. Amen. 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 And I couldn't help but to smile and laugh at this young man because I realized 
And if you stay in the number long enough, you'll learn what you need to know. Amen. Amen. And I praise God for this young man. Amen. Amen. I can see God moving in this sanctuary. I can see God moving in this community and with these people. And I just love what God is doing here in Greater Bethel AME Church. Amen. 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 Now we all have a job to do when we come into the house of the Lord and when we leave. And that is discipleship. Does anybody know what discipleship is? Amen. Discipleship is inviting and showing and helping others come to Christ. Right. Amen. Amen. Now if you're not doing that, if you got some work that needs to be done. Amen. Amen. And it starts with an invite. It starts with an invite. All you have to do is invite somebody. You don't have to tell them you they need to join the church. I mean, need to be involved. The word of God will complete them. Amen. 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 You get them here, let God do the rest. Amen. 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 I'm pretty sure that we got one or two people who walk through the door with an invite. Amen. And they decided to stay because God convicted their spirit. Amen. 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 Can I get a witness? Amen. 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 We got one or two. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you. Also, I want to send a shout out to Sister Kelly. Amen. She thank you all. Let them understand. When God gives you a vision and you see a man first, you get something, you got something to be excited about. Amen. Amen. He gave me this vision when I saw it. And she sits back there holding it down. Amen. 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 We thank God for Amen. Amen. Are there any other announcements that anyone would like to say at this time? Amen. I have one more announcement, then we're going to go. We're going to move on. Um, I don't know what's going on. Jazz has brought her friend with her today. Amen. And uh, I want y'all to check him out. Stay on camera. Stay on camera. This is Stan. Cam, this is Jasmine Stan. Amen. This is just a, a small amount of them. Amen. Just, just a drop in the bucket. I'm going to name one. Amen. Let's see how this goes. Uh, see? See? We just want to introduce So after the service, y'all come up and introduce yourself to Cam. And make you feel at home. Amen. 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 I'm the only one over here. Stop. It's me. I'm the only one. Amen. All right. All hearts and minds are clear. Yes. We're going to ask that the officers come help us raise our time. And hopefully, we'll be doing that. We're going to ask that the musicians give us some music. Clap your 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 music.
Lord, help me to hold up until my change has come. Amen. Any of you have heard that prayer? Amen. Lord, help me to help with this. Yes, Lord. Until the change has taken place. Yes. Amen. 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 If you ask in faith, you shall do it. Amen. 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 How many of you have ever asked in faith? Amen. And watch God do it for you. Amen. Amen. You got to believe. Yes. Amen. Amen. That is the key to your faith. Amen. Amen. Yes. I shall not tell you long today, but just allow me some time. Speak to you concerning God's words. Amen. Amen. My task for this year is to be intentional. Amen. Amen. And I want to be as intentional as I can. Yeah. With my words. Yeah. And with my deeds. Amen. Because anything I say, I want you to hear and understand. Amen. Anything I do, I want you to see and understand. Amen. This is my purpose for being intentional. Yeah. That what I say and do, you can copy it. Amen. 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 And say and do things in a Christ like man. Amen. Amen. Those of you who have your Bibles today, turn with me to the book of James, the fifth chapter. The fifth chapter, the 13th through the 15th verse, James 13 through 15. Amen. It is the Amen. same scripture we used in service this morning. Amen. James 5, 13 through 15. When you get it, say Amen. Amen. James 5, 13 through 15, and it reads, Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone chill? Mm -hmm. Let him sing praises. Anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick. And the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Amen. 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 God for the people of God, let's be the name of the Lord. Look at your name. Hey. 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 Where is your faith? Where is your faith? Look at your name. Hey. 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 Do you have faith? Do you have faith? Yes. Put your hands on yourself. Self. Self. Faith. Hey. Will make you whole. Will make you whole. Give God some praise in you. We use for something this morning simply the word faith. Amen. Faith. On the count of three, I want everybody to say it together. Loud as you can. One, two, three. Faith. Faith. That's the kind of faith you got to have. Bold, loud, strong faith. Amen. Amen. Reminding of the story of a lady. You probably heard this joke before, but it's a good one. Dealing with faith. An elderly woman, well known for her faith, talking about the Lord in boldness. And where she went, she spoke up about the Lord. She always shout, Praise the Lord! Everywhere she went, supermarket, Praise the Lord! In school, she yelled, Praise the Lord! She went up to work before she walked in the door, Praise the Lord! Everywhere she went, she shouted, Praise the Lord! Next door to this young lady lived an atheist man. And he would get angry at her 
Every morning she walks up out of her house, stands on the porch, and she yells out a proclamation, Praise the Lord! People get upset. Tired of hearing that. I don't want to hear that. You always praise the Lord. You know how some of us are. Yeah. One day, all the time said in for the elderly lady. And she prayed for God to send her some assistance. She stood on her porch and she shouted, Praise the Lord. God, I need food. I'm having a hard time. Please, Lord, send me some groceries. Well, you know when you pray out loud, you ain't the only one here. Amen. So, the next morning, the lady went outside on her porch, and there was a large bag of groceries sitting on the porch. She shouted again, praise the Lord! Right about then, there was a young man, a native, that jumped out from behind the bushes. And he said, Aha! I told you there wasn't no more. I bought the groceries. God did. And the lady started jumping up and down and clapping her hands. And she kept saying, Praise the Lord! And the man got upset with me. He said, I don't understand. I just told you it wasn't no more. I bought the groceries. She jumping up and down. Saying, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. He's getting more angry and more angry and more angry. And he said, woman, what are you jumping up and down for? She said, praise the Lord. He made the devil pick in my room. <laughs> she simply had faith that the groceries would be there. It didn't matter who bought it. Amen. God delivered. Amen. In other words, he can use anybody he wants. Amen. To give you the blessing that he has for you. Amen. And what God has for you. Is for you. Is for you. Amen. Faith. Faith. I have a question this morning. Mm -hmm. How is you faith. Amen. Some of us never check on the spiritual relationship with our brothers and our sisters. We just assume that all is well. We assume that after the baptism, after the confession, after the prayer, all is well with our Christian brothers and sisters. But we have to realize that they go through things too. Amen. Some of us, we put on a facade of us doing well when we know that we are suffering. Yeah. Some of us pick and choose the people we want to help us along the way instead of asking God for help and letting God sort it out. Amen. Some of us would rather suffer than to ask our own flesh and blood for help. Amen. Come to the realization that every once in a while we need to check on one another. Amen. Sometimes we lose focus. Yeah. Sometimes we lose heart. Yeah. Sometimes we lose faith. And every once in a while we need some reassurance in our faith. Amen. Because sometimes our faith falters. Yeah. We put faith in a lot of different things. Amen. Some of us, we put faith in our relationship. Yeah. Some of us in objects. Amen. In man. Amen. And all of these things seem to let us down. Yeah. But faith should always remind us that it is our Father in heaven Amen. in which our faith should reside. Amen. 
not in man. Amen. Not lighting candles by a picture. Amen. And whispering a prayer. Amen. Now, faith mm -hmm. is the substance of things we're waiting for. Mm -hmm. I have the evidence of things not seen. Amen. Now, we all have heard this explanation of faith. Yeah. We heard it before, and we never understood exactly what it meant. Mm -hmm. Some of us just sit in the pews and get preached to. Amen. Never ask any questions. Yeah. Even though we don't know exactly what's being said or preached or taught, we sit there and we don't ask any questions. Amen. We don't come to biblical discussions and get the answers to the questions that we need. We make an excuse, but nevertheless, we just sit there without any understanding. Mm. Now, I was always taught that there's no dumb questions. Amen. Some of us are just simply afraid to ask. Amen. So in my research, I consulted with the contemporary Bible for a better explanation on the word faith. Amen. The contemporary Bible states that faith makes us sure of what we hope for. Amen. And gives us proof of what we cannot see. Yeah. So in the reality of faith, so in reality, faith is being sure about the things that we hope for. And even though we can't see it physically, we know without a shadow of a doubt, it will manifest or become clear. Yes. Amen? Amen. So again, I ask the same question, how is your faith? Yeah. Hey, I, 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 in my spiritual mind, I feel like there's still someone who doesn't get the question that I'm asking. Amen. There's, there's still somebody out there. So let's try it in another way. Let's break it down in a way that we can understand it in the hood. Is that all right? Amen. We're going to get down a little bit. Now in society, let me just clarify this. In society, when we look at the word hood, it's not a bad thing. Amen. We turn it into something bad, but it ain't a bad thing. Amen. The hood just simply means neighborhood. Amen. And to our culture, the hood is a place that we know we can go to where we can get our understanding. We, we can hang out with our cultural brothers and sisters. Amen. 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 You know everything we do, we got to put a little flavor on mm. it. Amen. Amen. I don't know what I'm talking about. We give everything a nickname. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Boy, man, you be wrong, and we call him wrong, wrong. Mm. Yeah? yeah? Tony? His name Tony. Yeah. T-Bone. Yeah. I don't know how to get a bone in there. Yeah. <laughs> Poochie and Man Man and Ice-T. Yeah. All the boys. Mm -hmm. But the names terms are already a little relatable talk. Thank you be explained like this. Now, all of us have played cards at some point in time in our life. Amen. And if you went to the military or college or, 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 or HBCU or just hanging out in the yard with your family, you learn the game called Spades. Mm -hmm. I y'all know card players. And none of y'all never touch no card. We in the church, I, my, my grandmother said we never supposed to play no cards. I ain't going to admit to that. But we all learn the game called Spades. It's a good game. Yeah. Even I play. Yeah. Some of us play for money, and some of us play for punts. I play for punts. I don't know what you play for. Don't raise your hand or incriminate yourself. <laughs> but if you ever play the stage, you understand that the dealer was going to give you 13 cards. Mm. Amen? Amen. Amen? And each player had a teammate. So it's four people sitting at the table, two members per team. Mm. And then, while you sat to the table, two members per team, And they just smiling and laughing and they go, ooh, ooh, because they know what's getting ready to happen. And then you had other people who didn't have a good hand, somebody standing behind them, and they'd be like, mm -mm. you need to throw that hand in. You got people arguing at the table, fussing at the table about what was getting ready to take place. Now, some of these car players were short, were 
were so sure of themselves, they would build on things that weren't even there. Because right. I know my partner. He died. The others would know they had a good hand and did according to the hand. Right. Yeah. Some players had so much confidence that they stopped the opposing team from making their books, keeping them from scoring the win in the game. Amen. So when they sat down to the table and fought any cards with them, they would already tell the opposing team, you might as well get up, this over, we're about to run the boss. Y'all don't run no boss tonight. Yeah. Some of y'all ain't never ran the wheel. See, that's God talking. I'm sorry if you go over here. That's 10 books to somebody's story. What I'm trying to tell you today is if you've got to have faith, you should have that spade type faith. In other words, you know without a shadow of a doubt that when you sit down to the table, victory is already yours. When you sit down to the table, ain't no need for nobody to go against you because you already know that your partner got you. Whenever you sit down to the table, you already know you're going to run to Boston and ain't nothing that nobody can do about it because your partner got you. You and your partner are one while you're playing the game of life. You have to know without a shadow of a doubt that God got your back. That is where your faith should lie. Your partner will never let you fall. When you make a misstep, your partner will drop down the ace of spades. Your partner will drop down the two of spades. Your partner will drop down that choker. You gotta have a choker, a choker, a deuce, and a deuce in your hand if you wanna win. That's the kind of faith you're supposed to have. That's the kind of faith God is calling us to have. Yeah. A no fear type of faith. A no excuse type of faith. A no doubting type of faith. A no worrying type of faith. Just the unadulterated truth and knowing that what you hope for will soon be forthcoming. I ask again today, how is your faith? Yeah. Many of us want to be many different things in a world of obstacles. Yeah. But an obstacle is just an obstruction that hinders progress. My brothers and my sisters, I want you to know today that there's always going to be something in front of you trying to stop you from getting where you're going. Amen. 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 But an obstacle is just an obstruction. It's not permanent. It's something that can be moved out of the way. So listen, if we understand, and then if we understand that, then we need to understand this. A hindering is just a delay in your progress. Amen. So when it comes to our faith, we may have an obstruction. We may have a delay. There may be some hindering, but it will not stop you from achieving. Amen. We have to understand that our faith is tested from time to time. Yeah. You ever had your faith tested? Amen. Sometimes you doubt it that things will work out for your good even after you pray to the Lord. Amen. Sometimes you doubt it that things will happen even after you fell down on your knees cried and came to God, you still had some doubt that it wouldn't work out. You were having your faith tested because the thing that you were going through was so heavy on you and so hard for you to bear and you prayed and you still had doubt. God is telling us not to have doubt but trust in me. I will direct your path. Your footsteps are already on. I know the number of hairs on your head. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You Hey, 
Yeah. But the reality is, with any type of success, there is some struggle. Yeah. Amen. You can't climb a mountain, make it to the top, and raise your hand without slipping a little bit, without stumbling on some rocks that ain't set in the foundation. There's something there that will keep you sliding and shifting all the time. This is what life is. Life is a mountain with shifting and moving parts. You got to make sure before you take your next step, your foot is on solid ground so that when you make your next step, you won't have to slide, shift, and fall because you know that God got you. Yeah. Without struggle, yeah. without opposition, yeah. without pain, yeah. without minor setbacks, there can be no success. How is your faith? Yes, sir. Here in the Bible, we find James mm -hmm. talking to the disciples. Not the disciples, excuse me, talking to the 12 tribes. He was, he, was, he was reasoning with the 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. And James practically and faithfully reminded the Christians how to live. Yeah, all right. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. And this is what we have to do sometimes. We, we, we have to, to, to practically and faithfully remind each other how we should be living. Because every once in a while, we fall off. Amen. I don't care if we stop coming to church. That's called falling off. Amen. You stop reading your Bible, you're falling off. Amen. You stop praying, you're falling off. Yeah. You stop singing praises to God, you're, you're falling off. Amen. If you don't tell God, thank you, you're falling off. We, every once in a while, we are falling off. Yeah. And we have to be reminded of how God brought you through, what God has done for you, what He's doing for you right now, because Amen. the enemy at times things in your face and try to blind you from what God is really doing for you right now. Amen. And James here was reminding them uh, uh, how to live. Yeah. Amen. That, that you can't live without faith. Yeah. And if, if you want to live righteous, if you want to want to be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, you, you got to have faith. faith. Amen. Yeah. He was teaching the prayer of faith and, and, and in doing so he has Questions. Yeah. He gave answers to the questions after he asked them. James said, Is anyone among you suffering? Yeah. How many of you are suffering today? All of us are suffering from yeah. something. We, we, we may not admit it, we may not like to, yeah, to say it, and we, we may not be thinking about it right now, but we all are suffering from something. Yeah. It, it, it may be spousal abuse. It, Oh, Lord, 
not a human being. Amen. That's for sure. Yeah. I heard Brad Daddy do that. Yeah. Now, Brad, you're going too far. You're going too far. My daddy used to do that. Then he heard somebody else do that. And then he taught them how to pray in rhythm. Yeah. But God says, keep not up any repetition. Right. For thy father in heaven already know what it is that you are in the right. You ain't got to use all the words. Right. Amen. I'm reminded of a story of a young girl when she got ready to pray. And they wouldn't let her pray at first. And, and the pastor and everybody, her mom and daddy, was all upset with the girl. She can't pray. She don't know how to pray. Don't let her go down there and pray. And one day, a pastor let her just go down to the altar rail and pray. That little girl got down to that altar and she knelt down, knowing what her mama was going through, knowing what her father was going through, knowing their situation in her household. She knelt down at the altar rail and she said two words, Lord. Lord, help. Amen. 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 You don't think God heard her prayer? All right. James goes on to say that is anyone chill? Is anyone chill? How many of you ever been chill? Amen. Amen. I've been chill before. Amen. And when you're chill, for what do you do? You saying somebody here would be used to be chilled. Amen. Huh? Amen. And sometimes God gets in your spirit and he puts a song inside of you while you're happy, Josh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sometimes you're looking at a situation and somebody said something to you and because you already feel good, you might bust out of the song and they say, who do you think you are? And you say, I'm just a nobody <laughs> trying to tell everybody. About somebody who can save anybody, and they get so angry with you. I don't know that song. What you saying? That's stupid. I don't like you. And they walk off, but your cheerfulness is still there. In your cheerfulness, put a song in your heart and sing it. James is helping us deal with our everyday life in our way. Yeah. Let it call. Is anyone who you sick? Amen. Amen. Some of you can attest to this right now. Amen. Some of you can attest to this right now. Anyone, anyone among you sick? And, and, and right after that, James says this. Some people go quick before I get to James King. Anyone among you sick? That could be mentally, physically, or spiritually. Amen. It ain't necessarily you got a little cough. It ain't necessarily got a little flu in the back of your head while you're running a fever. Sometimes we are spiritually sick. Amen. Can't get well. Something that's constantly attacking your spirit. Amen. And it affects you in the spiritual realm, but then it transfers to the physical realm. And now you can't even call on the name of the Lord because your spirit is vexed. Yeah. But then the Bible says this. Let him call the elders of the church and let them pray over him. Yeah. Anointing him with oil yeah. in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. See, when we open up the altar for altar call, yeah. when we open up the doors of the church and we ask that question, uh, there may be somebody that's been praying for a long time you feel like your prayers are not being answered. Yeah. Come you know you need to come. You're hurting physically. You're hurting spiritually. You're, 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 you're hurting mentally. When we sit there in that pew, we let the enemy tell us ain't no need for you to get up because ain't nothing that man standing out there can do for you. And then it brings you out of your spiritual, puts you in your physical, and help you say to yourself, he ain't nothing but a mere man. Understand that he's touched by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, and when you bring yourself up here, and the prayers are whispered over you, and your hand is anointed with oil, that your cup may just run over, and surely goodness and mercy will follow you for the days of your life, and you can dwell in the house of the Lord forever, all because you took a walk down the aisle and you gave your issue to God. 
that they may flourish in you, oh God. Yes, and Lord, we pray for our sister. Yes. Come today, oh God, submitting herself yes, before you. Yes, Lord. Lord, we ask that you bless her with the mighty blessing that she stands in the earth. Yes, Lord. Lord, and anyone that even brushes her shoulder yes. become blessed. Lord, anoint her today, oh God, yes. that when she goes and visits her uncle, yes, God. that whatever she speaks out of her mouth yes, yes. that is attached to you, oh God, yes, Lord. that it may place healing upon his body. Yes, God. Lord, that it may strengthen him that she may yes, be strengthened in her hands. Yes, God, touch her situation. Yes, Manifest in her, oh God, let them know and understand that she serves a God yes, Lord. who is a father, yes. a protector, yes. and a provider. Yes. Lord, we pray for every household yes, Lord. represented here today. Yes, Lord. We pray for our babies, oh God, yes, who are here in the sanctuary. Yes. Lord, that you will continue yes. to protect them as well. School year is just starting, oh God, but Lord, we know we got a long way to go. Yes, but we can't make it without you. Lord, let your faith, let our faith yes. make us whole. Yes, Lord. Lord, we trust and believe today Thank you. that you will do all these things. Yeah. Because you are yes. the source yes. in which you can depend on. Oh, yeah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. In your dear son, Jesus, thank you. Amen. 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 Let's give God some praise in here.